Aloha. Good job today, Danny. I'm just going to go over a couple things on our piano here. And you can see my fingers pretty well, right? So the concept we had was the fine C, we would go down from our two black notes. No matter where we are on the piano, when we find these two black notes, we can always go down a half step when we find ourselves at C. This one happens to be middle C, the same tone that's on your ukulele as the thickest string. When we switch down the five white keys, C, D, E, F, G, we know that when we take out the two and the four, we get a triad. In the key of C major, no sharps, no flats. So C, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and then C again. Well, the fun concept behind this is we've talked about what the one is, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. The B diminished is only found in the key of A minor and C major because that's the keys that are relative, the one and the six. In the key of D, when we go up a whole step or a major second, because a C to a C sharp is a minor second, the same type of note that is found naturally in the key of C major is the E to F minor second and B to C. Another diatone, minor second. I love the way they sound. up a C major triad. That is, until we put the C up top in the same quadrant. That makes an inversion, a first inversion to be exact. And then we have our second inversion, when one note remains between the PA octaves. When we move up to the next quadrant, we can see that our inversion, our second inversion, which started with a G, contained a C, and then contained an E, the major third. When we go back up into the C, E, G, again, you find yourself into a whole new quadrant. Therefore, when we work these notes down, we get the same type of arpeggiated triad, not arpeggiated, but uh, notes that go through a chorus. C majors, right? Fun. So we learn those in each key. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, We just have to call them different names. Like in the key of D major, I couldn't have called that F because it's an F sharp, F sharp minor to be exact. And when we go here, we're not playing a C, but a C sharp. But we're not playing a C sharp major. We're playing not a minor, but a diminished. So what we tell is in the key of C, we've got B diminished. Well, in the key of D, we've got C sharp diminished. In the key of G, we would have F sharp Diminish, which leads back to G. G major, which one, two, three, four, five contains G, A, B, C, D. We would have A minor, which would contain A, B, C, D, E. We would contain B minor, B, D, F sharp, which has B, C, sorry, B, C sharp. <laughs> Uh, we would have our D as our minor third. We would have our uh, E and then our F sharp. When we go to our next chord, we would have our C, C, D, E, F, G, C, E, G. Then we would have our D, E, F sharp, G, A. And when we play our 1, 3, 5, D, F sharp, A. And then we'd have our E. Since we're playing in the key of G, E is our minor, E, G, B. But the notes around that would be 1, two, three, four, five, and then we play our one, three, five, and then our next key is a whole step way, F sharp diminished, and then that resolves to G. So that happens in every key, no matter what we're doing it. Just so happens in the key of B, that we've got five sharps. So the concept behind this is whole step, whole step, half step. Just like in C major, whole step, whole step, half step. 
we just naturally put those notes there, right on. So the finger exercises that you can try while you're at home or if you're playing on your sis's uh, keyboard, you can try. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, five, one. If you were to do something along the lines of five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, one, five, three, one, it's all pretty much the same because you're just using the notes that are in the first five notes. As soon as you go outside of there, you're actually using an extension finger. That's how melodies are made. Piano is a fun thing to play when you start playing. I suggest start playing in the key of C, which has no sharps and flats. And at this point, you know that when you go up five notes, it adds a sharp. In the key of G, you have the note right before G. So when we go G, A, B, C, D, the note right before D is now the next sharp of D major. So D major has a C sharp and an F sharp. When we go up five notes to A, A has three sharps. The note right before it is our new sharp, G sharp, and it also has C sharp and F sharp from the key before. When we keep doing this process, we see that going up in the circle of fifths helps to give us the next note because what happens is when we get to our B natural, it doesn't go to another white key. Let me explain this. C major, one to one, white to white. C sharp, one to five, when I said C, uh, I meant one to five. Uh, C sharp to G sharp, D to A, D sharp to A sharp. They're all going white key, white key, black key, black key, white key, white key, black key, black key, white key, white key. All of them do that except for B flat. B flat is a black key and it goes to a white note. And then you pick your minor or your major. And then with B natural, you play a five away which is a white key to a black key. So they're the only two on this piano that don't have similar one in five colored keys. You would have opposite colored keys and by far these are my favorite keys to play in at this point. So what we see is all you gotta do is pick your same, your major or your minor in that next kind of thing. I hope this isn't too confusing, but guess what? We're gonna go over this a couple times. What I'd like you to do for your music lesson for the week though, besides just watching this seven or eight, 10 minute clip, is to take your ukulele Play a C major and play a C major on your ukulele and realize that the notes that you play on a piano, one, three, five, are the same notes you play on the ukulele. D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, G7, or a B diminished, and then a C again. My total goal is to be able to get you to play scales on the piano. on the ukulele and then be able to alter one or two notes or three notes so we can make other scales c e f g a b c d is a c major but when we play a flat three flat six and flat seven moving both the major seven and the major six back a half step and the major third back a half step we get which is a Aeolian mode. Otherwise known as a minor mode. Right on. It was very good seeing you today. I know we worked on circle of fists, so don't let that go to the wayside. Try and do the circle of fists once a week for the next month or so until you really just grasp it. If you ever have any questions about it, reach out. And um, hopefully, we're going to see each other a couple more times before you get out of here. But uh, I would also like to do Zoom lessons if you're up for that. So let's see if we can culture that. Other than that, have a great week. Aloha.